What's going on, everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about my GoPro woes. What's going on, everybody? It's Patrick Midton Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. All right, so we're going to talk about the GoPro woes, and I've got them, got them bad. So let's start back with I haven't been able to use my GoPro Hero 8 in three or four months. It's been a while. Um, every time I try to use it, I get freeze up, I get all kinds of crazy crap. I thought, okay, maybe it's just need to update the firmware. So went update the firmware. That didn't work. Factory reset. That didn't work. Changed SD cards. That didn't work. Talk to GoPro customer service. <laughs> anyway, that didn't work. And I mean, I have spent hours talking to those guys. For them to tell me, well, it sounds like you got a bad GoPro. Yeah, thanks. I figured that one out real quick. Um, time to upgrade your GoPro. No, 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 no. Um, it's sad, too, because I've got all kinds of stuff for this dadgum thing. And for it to do what it's doing, I can get it functional. And for about 30 minutes, it works great. And then it just back to where it was. So I think it's a hardware issue in, inside the GoPro. And I'll tell you why I think it's a hardware issue. Like I said, I tried two different, tried three different computers to reset the thing. Tried four different times to update it manually instead of on the app. And it didn't work. Um, I just kept getting the same thing over and over and the frustration level went higher and higher. I had to double up blood pressure pills. I mean, it, it was bad. It was really bad. Um, and I really worked on this thing for three solid days trying to get it to work right and figure out why it wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing. So, this is not going to be a review of this, but I got an alternative, and I think it's going to work out a lot better. And that is an instant... 360 one RS. Yep, I got the modular Insta360. Now, I'm not going to review the camera itself right now, but let's talk about the company. Let's talk about what they've done. And I think it's pretty brilliant. Um, if you're a GoPro owner and you're worried about, you know, going away from GoPro and you won't have, you know, you got all this money wrapped up in mounts and stuff, that's all right. Insta360 goes right on it. They even give you the mount in this case that goes onto your old GoPro stuff. Now, this is not the Insta360 um, arm. This is the GoPro arm, which I like this arm. Uh, this It's a monopod, tripod, uh, all kinds of different ways. I'll use it all kinds of different ways. Uh, on this next trip but that was one of the things is I wanted to be able to use all the GoPro mounts I have now my heroes my sessions works flawlessly I have no problems with it my GoPro Hero 5 I've it's never missed a beat but that Hero 8 I mean this the crap it started doing it just turned me completely off from GoPro altogether and I'm really glad I picked this up. Yes, I can put the 360 lens on this. Yes, I can put the one inch lens on this. So it is, like I said, we'll get into this more in a different video, but right now I'm an Insta360 action cam guy. Um, and that's, that's, well, GoPro, you did it. You drove me away because number one your customer service didn't help number two I'll, I'll throw this out there guys they don't repair their stuff it's broke get a new one and i will tell you right now that gopro has been through the least amount of crap that a gopro could go through that gopro has been babied 
When I say babied, I mean it has, I, it maybe have gotten sprinkled on and that's it. My Hero 5 has been submerged. My Sessions has been submerged. Both of them have been underwater for countless times. Water slides, all kinds of stuff, and they still ticking right along. But that Hero 8 has been babied, and that thing is done, and I'm done. So I went with this, and this is what I'll be recording on when I'm doing action stuff, Jeep rides, all that stuff. So that's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. The camera stuff is back on the Mid-10 Outdoors channel itself. Uh, MTO Productions will be, well, well, we'll see what that happens with that down the road. But... Uh, Anyway, I just wanted to give that update because I know a few of you knew I was having problems with my Hero 8. And like I said, that camera has not been abused at all. Matter of fact, this Canon has been abused more times than that GoPro has. So that's why I'm kind of upset with GoPro and the way they did things. Not a happy camper. Insta360. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. Hope you got something out of this. If you did please leave a like share subscribe and also don't forget the mid 10 outdoor shirts i will be doing a video to show you all the shirts in person because i have one of each now so that'll be coming soon so if you've been on the fence about buying a mid 10 out shirt mid 10 outdoor shirt i'll show you why because i got some really cool ones now be prepared guys see you on the next one